All right, then let's see how we can delete the data which is related to the user. Now coming in the delete profile activity and within the delete user method. In the onComplete method, right after checking whether the task is successful or not, we can call another method from here. Let's say delete user data. And uh, this method will be responsible for deleting the data of the user. And before continuing, I'll just remind you once again, there are two ways to delete the user. In first one, we can delete the data of the user and then delete the user object. In the second way, we can delete the user object first and then delete the data which is related to the user. And uh, in our example, we are following the second method that is we have deleted the user first and then we are trying to delete the data which is related to the user. Now what are the implications and the problems that we might face by following the second method is the reason why I am doing it because just by explaining using my words is one way and giving you one practical example is another way to let you understand what I'm trying to teach. By the time we are done with deleting the user and then setting up the security rules in the database as well as the cloud storage, you will understand what I meant by giving you a practical example of the correct way of deleting a user anyways then let's just continue with the coding part then let's create delete user data all right and let's delete the profile picture of the user first for that we have to use firebase storage and we'll have to create one instance of the firebase storage And then we'll have to use storage reference. And within this storage reference, we will get the reference of the photo URL of the user and save it. And to get the reference, we will use get reference from URL method along with the Firebase storage. Then within the brackets, we will use Firebase user dot get photo URL. dot to string to convert it into string type and then finally we just have to delete it so we will just use storage reference dot delete So in this way, we are just deleting the user's profile picture. So in case of success, we can just write it in the log or you can display a toast. It's totally up to you. And similarly, we can just add one failure listener that is add on failure listener. And in this case also, we can write it in the log. Then after that, we can display one toast message using the exact exception that has occurred. Now let's define this tag variable. It has to be final, static and global. And it will contain the name of the activity. Alright. Now after that, let's delete the data from the real-time database and for that we have to use database reference.
and in that reference we have to save the instance of the reference registered users All right. Now to delete it, we have to write database reference dot child. Then within brackets, we have to specify the UID of the user because if you remember, we are saving the nodes with the name, which is the user ID or the UID of the user. So here we will just specify the UID of the currently logged in user. then dot remove value and with that also we have to use add on success listener then you can write it in the log file Similarly, we will just add on failure listener. And here also we will write it in the log. And also we can display one toast message in case of failure. Then let's run the app. And since I have already deleted the user, let me create a user quickly. Alright, alert dialog box is showing that the user's email ID is not verified, it's okay. We'll do that later and let's open the browser and open the Firebase console. Now here let me delete these two profile pictures because they are from before since I have not uploaded any picture for the new profile. So that means these two profile pictures are related to the user IDs which we have already deleted. So let me just delete them then open the real time database. And here the lower one is for the new profile that I have just now created. So I can just remove the upper one or the first one. So now we have only one node and if we open the authentication tab then we can see that we have only one registered user. So everything is good so far. Now let's return back to our app and let's update one profile picture. Alright, so now we have the data in the real time database as well as picture in the storage. Let's open the browser once again and click on storage and then click on display pics and then we have this profile picture that we have uploaded. Now let's return back to our app once again and let's delete the user profile that we have created just now. everything good so far let's delete it continue and the user has been deleted but still we are getting one error user does not have permission to access this object which means the user was deleted successfully but when we were trying to delete the data related to the user the access was denied so now you can think why this has happened why we are not able to get access to the data of the user because this data belongs to the user itself so it should be accessible to the user. You can just think why it's happening like this. But for now I'll just open storage then click on rules. Allow read write which means all the read and writes are allowed.
then click on real time database rules tab and here I'll make write as true as well as read as true and I'll just publish it now you can open the app and try to delete the user And once the user has been deleted, you can check in the Firebase console, there will be no data related to the user present anywhere. But to allow such a delete, we have to open our database as well as the storage to all the users, which means any user which has the reference to our profile picture or our data in the database can access our data. Now how to stop this and how to recover from this problem that we are not able to access our own data once the user has been deleted. We will talk about this in the next video when we set up the security rules for the real-time database as well as the storage. We will see how we can solve this problem.